We are moving on straight to the winner. Winners Winner. brackets. There we go. So these guys are the guys that have stayed out of that 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 pool, that pit. Yeah. The losers. They've managed to work all the way up to the winners finals. It is W3D's DJ Vu versus the Off Band. That that shot is so funny because the Phantom's not a small guy. He's not. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> By no means is the Phantom a small guy. It's just DJ Vu. <laughs> That's huge. You play. What, he plays basketball, right? He plays basketball. Yeah. He's. That's a, he's a massive guy. Wow. Would you say he's, like, he's got a voice which is really soft as well? Yeah, I'm like, saying he's like the friendly giant. It's like BFG when you see it. him, you're just like, oh they're, my god. They're gosh. both kind of big, but they're both really friendly. Like, yeah, <laughs> BFGs, man. So this is a battle between the big friendly giants. So we're gonna see, probably gonna most likely see um, Phantom go with Master Raven. Yeah, I'd, he's not gonna switch from from Raven. And we're gonna see Jack Boys. Now, I, funny enough, I've used Jack versus versus a Phantom, okay. and. I, I don't know if it's my particular playstyle, but I found the match to be not not easy, but it felt, I felt comfortable in the matchup. Yeah. Um, you know, Jack does have a lot of tools that can stop you from um, from sort of partying hard, which is what Phantom likes to do. He has a lot of just stop doing what you're doing. Two jab, forward, forward, one elbow. You know, those are really vital moves in this matchup, and we're going to have to see that from um, from from DJ Vu. One thing that. Jack, I feel, doesn't really have, though, in this situation is a consistent punish for Phantom, especially if the court circle forward four, the minus 14, especially if it's done out of... does it work? I think at a certain kind of range, if, if Phantom's able to space it out properly, I feel that like Jack doesn't have a it consistently punish. Yeah, but look at this huge combo right now. Boom. Oh, Phantom off to a huge start. And now, that was a great response from DJ Vu. Yeah, nice duck. And he's going for some Okizemi here. Oh, he messes it up. I think he went for a cheeky debugger there. Oh my god, nice. Oh, he's a back sway, but he does it again. And is this gonna, I don't know what's going to happen. Is it going to hit? It got, yeah, it hit him. Oh my god, nice. I actually thought that was going to go under. Yes. I was, I was making those reads. So he did the backswing twice, and he beat him out both times. So DJ Vu taking the first round. Really great read there by DJ Vu. Okay, goes for the down four. Two. Oh, actually, maybe down four two may punish. It's 15 frames. It's oh. 15. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Maybe not. Sorry. <laughs> and this is going to go to the wall. Boom, boom. Oh, it doesn't get a clean wall spell. That would have been a lot of damage. No, definitely a lot and of this damage. This is where Jack is very comfortable because he can poke you away. Phantom needs to run away. And no, nope, that's guaranteed. That, that kind of range with the 4 forward right. 1, the down back 2 is guaranteed. Five. It's guaranteed damage. So after that elbow, that mid elbow, there is guaranteed damage. But he gets hit with that low on counter hit. And this is Phantom's time to get some damage. And this is where DJ Wu does not want to be, but he's kind of worked his way out. Uh-oh. He wanted to get that power, use that power crush. That, was, that would be a great option. Look at this pressure. And parries out of it. Yeah, using that parry to actually get that space, but DJ Wu is not letting him have space. He's trying to get back up in there. Jack is so overwhelming sometimes, especially at the wall where you just poke away. It's a mix-up game. Yeah, this definitely has that down back one really strong and against the wall. Here we go. Now, Jack with Rage, what can he do? Uh, we know that blue. Oh, oh the Rage Arts! Is that, was a, that is going to hit. Hits. That was a great reaction from Vu using it as a whiff punish. Now, I'm not sure he's just going to be dead. One more mix up. Just using those plus rings, using that parry to get out of that. Yeah. Now, up for four. Finishes the string. And, and um, that looks guaranteed. Alive. Oh my god. That actually looked guaranteed. Yeah. I think he would have got up. Yeah. The Phantom there. Phantom on the verge of losing that match, but no, he stays alive. DJ Vu probably being a bit too eager. Yeah. Now missing punishes as well, DJ Vu maybe a little bit tilted from that ra last round. You've got yeah. to keep your composure. No way, it was all in his favor. That could have been his three round clean, but the yes. Phantom now looking really strong, trying to take it back. Nice punish. And oh, but drops the combo. Okay, wakes up ducking. Underneath the front now. Nice bait. Dig with punish. And this is going to go to the walls of wall. Go to that hey, the rage, rage, uh, drive. Oh my god, another slow mo. Oh, ah. and he finishes the string. Oh my god, I round. See. My mouth was actually open. Phantom doesn't <laughs> want to lose. He, says he refuses to lose, even with a pixel of health. Phantom, they're doing a great job to bring it back. Okay, this him. is why Phantom is so good in tournament, man. He has that clutch factor. Yeah. And you only get that by playing a lot in tournament. Yeah, he's definitely, like we said, world traveled. He's been around. He's won European, like, where the top Europeans have been. Oh out. my god, he's going for that Tech and Tag 2 combo right there. Was, I, I think he actually thought it was going to be a wall splat. That is actually huge. That, that would have given DJ Vu really good position and damage. Yeah. And now Phantom maximizing the opportunity. But he has to be very careful. DJ Vu does have rage and can use it at any time. Oh, the low. And goes to that low. That low is very cheeky. Yes, he jumps. It probably puts you back again. He's jumping. I'm just, I'm just going to hold block yeah. and just, you know, boop. 
right in the legs. Yeah, just finish it off. But like, yeah, I mean, DJ Vu had many opportunities there to finish the, the round, finish the match, but he just couldn't clutch it, man. DJ Vu with the clutch. I mean, sorry, Phantom with the clutch, and we're going to show you This is first to three, by the way, because it is the winner's finals. So you have a bit more time to get a read on your opponent, and you know, the mistakes don't matter too much sometimes in the first to three. Yeah, you, you gotta always have that kind of one game cushion. Yeah. But like, Nick always said it takes three rounds to really read your opponent. Yeah. Absolutely. They say that DJ Vu off to a great start. And oh, this big elbow guaranteed damage as well. Okay, just goes for a down jab. Yeah. I respect yeah. it. So DJ Vu showing signs of life. Not showing signs that he's not too tilted. He can still get in there. Because, you know, a lot of players, when they do lose in that manner, when they sh they know they should have got it, they can't get their head around the fact they should have won that match. Yeah, that's all a mental thing. But now, DJ Vu going really strong using those debugs. Is he going to go for 10 hits? No. Oh, no duck on that. You can actually duck the second hit. Yeah, you can duck the second hit of that. Wow, this is looking so strong for DJ Vu. Nice guess. Hey, okay. use oh. that power crush, but doesn't. And then duck while standing four. So is this going to be deja vu? Because... Deja vu, DJ Deja vu, DJ vu. <laughs> So he's two rounds up again, and is he going to let the Phantom... Well, it's a great start here again for Phantom, so is Phantom going to make it come back again? Three rounds, reverse sweep, who knows? Okay. And, bro, doesn't punish that. It's not really a get-up option you really see from Jax. Maybe he just wasn't ready for it. Yeah. Oh, the stop sign. Stop sign said no, gets a counter hit, but doesn't get the follow-up off of it. Does get a very damaging follow-up. He's got Rage as well. What's he going to do with it? Is he going to go for the Rage Drive? Oh, could have got a punish on that. But once again, DJ Vu does have rage. He's found needs to be very careful. He does get additional damage and access to rage drives and rage arts. Oh, what's what's going to happen there? Up, up forward, forward. How many times have we said that that up forward, forward? He uses it so well to just, just, just keep you out and finish off the rounds. Yeah, it seems like the Phantom really used that well. It seems you see that a lot from him in loads of matches. He yeah. ends it with an up forward, forward. Absolutely. Gets the wall splat and big damage here. He's on the verge of bringing this back to 2-2, two, two, uses oh, that throw. No regular throw. That's a very damaging throw. And again, Phantom just making that comeback. He yeah, so he dropped that. He tried to go for the forward forward, but forgot forward instead. And again, the up hey. forward four. And a key charge at the end as well. Fight. Starts off with a while standing one, that Lord punished. And he's going to go straight in. This is going to be huge damage. Look at that wall combo. Look at the damage. It's eight seconds oh, left. Look at the position that he's in. Nice elbow. That elbow is so strong. I think he needs to use that way more in this matchup. Yeah, it's a big whiff it. Definitely it's don't want to whiff it. Is this really going to be Deja Vu? It is. This is the same thing that happened before. We saw you win. DJ Vu go, go up two yeah. games and then the final makes that reverse sweep. Yeah. I mean, it just looks like he just woke up. He just woke up. He's like, okay, I'm down two rounds. You know, because I think that sometimes when you get comfortable, and it's happened a lot to me and it's happened a lot to other players, yeah. uh, you get comfortable. And then you start to to just play really sloppy, and I think that that, that can happen. You know, um, DJ Vu going up two rounds, getting comfortable. Maybe he got a bit sloppy. Happened again. Yeah. Oh, you have to finish off. You're gonna finish your food, man. If you want to grow up big and strong, you know, like <laughs> six foot nine ain't big enough. <laughs> yeah. Now, interesting. So he's hovering over Shaheen. Now he's hovering over. Okay, so he's gone back to Jack. Now Vu did say before he has actually been playing a bit of Shaheen. Uh huh. Um. So, I guess he was thinking about it. But he, he was thinking about it. Obviously, when you're 2-0 down, you, want, you, you know, there are two, like we've said many, many times, Bubsy, there's two ways to, to, to proceed when you have lost a match. You either change your character or you adapt to the person you're playing against with the ex existing character. And DJ Vu has chosen the latter, uh, which is the harder option. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's, it's, it's easier to just change your character and say, you know what, let me use another, a new character and let's see how it goes. He's deciding, no, I'm going to use the same character and adapt to my opponent. And he's not doing bad. Both these games have gone to final round. So we're going to go straight round in. One. Yep, straight in. Final them up two games. Yes, and the loser of this is going to be going to the loser bracket. They will not be out. So yeah, so DJ Roo still actually has an additional life. Yes. So that's, that's the beauty of being in the winner's final. Absolutely, yeah. You still you fought your way here. And yeah. Get that, that benefit. So you're guaranteed top three at least. Yeah. But you, and you still have that life lead. Oh, nice. Gets a good combo here. It's not going to go quite to the wall, but close. Back nice. two. That's how I want to see more with Jack against the wall. Those back twos are really good. Good, strong mid. Definitely. Oh my god, just gets up. Is this, is this really, is this how it's going to be? Like a kid who didn't get his crisps in the shop. Just boom, right on the face. Throwing them tantrums, just sitting up those tantrums. Nice. Now, if, if Vu wins another round, do you think he's going to play on his mind that 
every time I've gone up two games and it seems like the Phantom has just made that reverse sweep. Yeah. Always been such a, a strong start for for DJ Vu, but then Phantom seems to get a read on the timing and the, the patterns and just makes the comeback. But the Phantom looking strong very strong. Like Jack with Rage. So I guess he didn't expect the hit there of the Lord and goes for that low, that jumping low. That low is so deceiving as well because he kind of jumps, right? So it looks like it's going to be at mid. Because a lot of jumping moves usually are like mids or highs, right? Yeah. And he just jumps and hits your feet. It's like, what the hell? It's very hard for me to react to that as well. But here we go, DJ V with a combo head, goes for some Oki. Nice tech roll to get out of that. Drops a lot of oh, the power crush. Doesn't get a full wall splat though, so it doesn't get a full proper combo that he could get. Yes. Probably X. Okay, so Don't break that is a command throw. So Phantom now trying to fight back. Has that rage? Could actually get a combo. That's one of the additions from Jack. I actually yeah. get a full combo for that, that now. That's crazy. But yeah. He's got, position. he's got the wall positioning. Nice. Good and jab. He's going two rounds up to one. Now can Vu yeah. bring his first match on can the Can he get on the yeah. board? He needs to get on the board. But not if any. Not if Phantom has anything to say about it. He starts off with the launcher. And this is going to be big damage. No, he drops the combo. Never could've, mind. Could have actually got a launch there on yeah. that whiff. He goes to that low. Uh -oh. oh, yes. Very bad. <gasps> he doesn't get the launch. Now, Jack's hands were planted in the ground. He could not block. He's got his hands planted in there. He they, can't actually do anything. Yeah, he couldn't do nothing, but Phantom just a little late to react to that, probably. Definitely. And here we go. We are going to a final round final again. Round. This is it. Set point for the Phantom. So here we go. Phantom, DJ Fru really needs to he needs this round to save himself in winners. He doesn't that. want to lose nah. another final round, but all of these matches have gone to final round. Yeah. This is looking so strong. The Ravens' combo damage is insane. And this is a very bad position for DJ Boo to be in. He's got rage now. Can he make a comeback with it? Okay. Just backing off. That low is safe from Jack. Cannot be punished. He's trying to trying to get a whiff punish. If he can, but what is right back? Him. And that is all guaranteed. Oh. That would have gone on forever. That could have gone on forever. That would go forever. I'm sure it has that much um, frame advantage. It just goes on forever until you yes. turn around. Well, Phantom showing why he is a tournament veteran. Is he going to do his hand signs again? No, I, I think he's going to save it to the front. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. There we go. I spoke too soon. <laughs> We need the mic, bro. We need to hear what you yeah, say. We need to hear what you say. But good get. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, guys. He moves on into grand finals. And now it is. This is it. Now this is it. The losers final. The losers bracket. Me, I think. Who's gonna meet Phantom in in the grand finals? I don't know. But let's, let's go back to those replays. Let's check out some replays. I mean, about that. all of these matches went to final round, man. I know it's, it's great. It's very true. But yeah. it seems like the Phantom just had that edge, and we we've said this so much before. It sometimes just comes down to experience and being able, when you're put in that position, to just kind of clutch it out. Yeah, exa exactly. That clutch factor. We've seen players that have that clutch factor, but it's always the players that have the tournament experience. Yeah. yeah Phantom's played in so many different tournaments, big on the big stage and on the small stage, I and he's always got that clutch factor. I mean, look, he, this, DJ Boo was literally one hit away from yeah. getting that game, and then the Phantom just made that, also, that reverse sweep yeah. and was able to just bring it back. And I feel that he rides off the momentum really well as well. Definitely. So when he makes those comebacks, it really helps him. And that clutch slow-mo as well. Slow -mo. So many slow-mos in this set. Yeah, you, no slow-mos. You just, you just, oh, I don't think we can take it as, as I know. longer. I'm going to start getting white hairs, man. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go again. Phantom. DJ Vu starting off again strong, getting those rounds on the board. And then it just seems like the Phantom just... Do you think he adapted during the set? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, And that's the mark of a really good player, to know what to do mid-set, not just you know, after the game. Not after the fact, you know, to actually know, okay, this is after you've lost a round, I need to do this, I need to do that. So he did lose rounds. Like you said, yeah. the pattern always was lose two rounds, then make a reverse sweep. So that's definitely adaptation in the game. So really, really good there by uh, Phantom. Yeah. And DJ Vu still, still not out. Still in the not out. Still in, yeah, like I said, he's still in losers. So I'm sure he can, he's going to probably think about that. He's going to think about, well, I've always, I was, I was in a commanding position. It seemed like every single one of those games, but I couldn't close it out. So I'm sure he's. Probably going to have that in his mind. He's, he's also played in tournaments, so I'm sure he's going to be thinking about what can I do to kind of clutch that out. Yeah, because it's not much he had to do differently because he did, he was sort of, you know, uh, very close to taking